share this gambling addict. Let's see what time it is. It's currently 5.32 in the morning. And we're at the service station. And Adam is gambling. <laughs> what a way to start a fishing trip. Haribo's, Haribo's keeping them going, and the tunage obviously. You've arrived at your destination. So we finally arrived down here in Surrey, and um, we're coming down for the weekend, me and Adam. We're going to get on Twinerish Fishery. Um, in Chertsey, we were on there for the weekend um, and then yeah we're going to go to the show tomorrow on Saturday at the big one um, and help out a bit on the chorus stand with Mark, go and see Mark for a bit and have a mooch around the, the, the big one show, we've both never been before, assume it's going to be um, on the similar scale of the Northern Angling show but possibly a little bit better or a little bit bigger, not sure yet. Um, but yeah, we'll have a mooch around. We've already had a look around Twinersh. We've seen nothing. A possible one. I seen one fish show on Pit Four, possibly, um, but couldn't be certain. Um, but we're gonna try. We're gonna, we're just getting some food from Sainsbury's, and then yeah, we're gonna head back down there to Twinersh. Try and find the, some fish on either the Match Lake or Pit Four, um, and then yeah get set up for the evening and catch up on some much needed sleep. I think I had about two hours, if that, of sleep last night. And I think Adam had even less and he had to drive 200 miles. So yeah, we're gonna get the rods out, hopefully find some fish first of all, and then get our heads down and catch up on some much needed kit. I've been asleep for the past three, four hours. That early start absolutely drained me. Um, got to the lakes again after going in Sainsbury's and we had a look around, seen nothing again, but we settled on the match lake. We think we think that'll be the best bet for a bite overnight, just before we go to the show tomorrow morning. Um, so yeah, I've got everything set up, baby, everything. I'm just about to put a solid bag out, um, tie one up with the chorus bags, Put some small pellets and stuff like that a nice bright tutti fruity hook bait in there um, and then blast it to the end of end of like the point swim there um, i've had a few bleeps on my other rod a few liners and i've seen a few fish possibly uh, bow waving about moving about in the shallow water on the far side so i'm feeling confident for the night adam's still sleeping that's why i'm vlogging on my phone um <laughs> because um, all my camera stuff's locked away in the car and I don't want to wake him up, he'll be grumpy when he's on an, had an hour sleep. So, yeah, when you see this video, Adam, wake up, you lazy muppet. But yeah, all I'm going to do, all I'm going to do now, get this solid bag out, get it tired, whack it straight out there, and then, yeah, I'll keep you updated if you catch any fish. So when it comes to fishing, we've all got to have our favourite on the bank snack, and by far, these are mine from Aldi. These like tangy watermelon sweets, they're absolutely lovely. This is my first bag, I definitely need to go to Aldi and get more. The rods are out, so that's where the solid bag is, just off that island there. And I should I say just off the point, sorry. And then there's a little cove bit there, um, where it it's really 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 shallow along here and then it drops off in the summer this is usually a really thick lily bed so i've just gone off all the dead roots or what i think will be all the dead roots and stuff like that um just a single hook bait and some boilies around but just before it goes dark i'm going to bring it in and um, change the rig over to a more grubbing rig so probably a slip d with a few live maggots on top and then i'm going to bait and pull it back out with a load of live and dead maggots and boilie crumb in the baiting spoon on the baiting pole, ship that back out there and then leave that for the night and hopefully 
that will do me a bite but I can see a bit of bubbling just over there I don't know if the camera can make it out just over there so fingers crossed it won't be long and one of them rods will be ripping off what are you putting in there Jack? so we've got some um, dead maggots red and white some tops and some um, dust, cool candy boilers um, and then we're also going to put a nice healthy that's a lot of sawdust but we're going to put a nice healthy helping of live maggot in there as well nice um, the rig here not had anything yet but I'm feeling confident in this rig a nice helicopter setup just sits over anything I'm not too sure what the bottom's like but um, yeah Ronnie nice. rig yeah nice Ronnie rig size 4 I think they're the, the gardener hooks the muggers and then yeah we've got a nice tutti fruity pop up on top there ultra tutti fruity from chorus lovely stuff let's so, get it out there redone that rod as you see in there with the baiting pole hopefully that mix of maggots crumb boily a really nice grubbing around mix will get them fish feeding keep them in the area for a bit and hopefully i'll get a chance of a bite there like i say solid bag on the right hand rod and then on the left hand rod just a ronnie rig i said i was going to change it to a bit of a grubbing round rig but i thought there's a bit of low lying like cabbage out there like dead roots like i said so i thought opt for the the ronnie rig um, set the bead a bit higher it was a firm nice drop so yeah all that mix around it as well hopefully will get me a bite in the early hours of the morning i think we're going to get some food on the go as well i don't think we're cooking actually i think we're going to get a takeaway possible pizza or something like that so yeah proper dining like kings on the bank eh? dining like kings but yeah fingers crossed we'll get some good grub down us and hopefully them cart will too can't leave home without these, can you? Absolute essential. Scotty Lord, absolute essential. But yeah, no matter how cold it is, a man's always got his crocs on when he's out fishing. Oh yes, food has arrived. So, Last night was a blank, didn't get a single bleep all night, um, I believe I was on fish, because um, before I went to bed last night I could hear a few crashing out, but it just didn't happen, nothing through the night, nothing, and I've woke up a little bit late, because we should have been at the show um, in the next half an hour, but now we've got a pack down and it's raining, so yeah, just our luck. But we're going to get to the show, or we're going to get packed up first, get to the show, and then after having a mooch around the show, we're going to get back down here, hopefully try and get on some fish, we're going to try and properly find them this time, and then do another night on here, or possibly go somewhere else, we're not sure yet. Big one. Let's have it. The 
show was absolutely manic. I tried to get as much footage as possible, but as you can see, it was mainly just short clips and a few time lapses. It was crazy. I had time to eat my bacon butty, and that was about it. So enjoy a time lapse and a few images I managed to snap during the show. But overall, it was a great experience. My first ever show with Chorus and meeting Mark and his missus. It was a great experience and I hope I can do it again soon. Anyway, we're off. Yeah, Twinehurst. Twinehurst weren't the one. Um, so yeah, we're off. Thorny Way. Give it a go. Ad's been getting a few from there on recent trips, so he's going to put me on a spot. Fingers crossed. See what we can do. That's the one. Other than that, let's get the tunes on and head down there. Hold on, guys. <laughs> Before arriving, Adam told me it would be quite busy because it's a weekend. However, we didn't expect to see the amount of anglers on the lake that we did. However, we still had a mooch round and found some fish in a quiet corner. So that's where we set out for the night and fingers crossed we got a bite. day of the trip down south um quiet quiet night last night on thorny way um adam got picked up by coo early hours in the morning other than seeing them fishing that tree opposite we have not seen anything else um i think them fish moved off i think we might have made one too many casts or we were thinking maybe the daytime they might return again late evening but we don't have that time to stay because we're in work tomorrow and stuff like that, so we've got to get home, get stuff sorted. But yeah, the rods remain motionless, but we're going to try try our luck one last time, get packed up, have a mooch around, find them on the canal hopefully, drop some small Ronnie rigs or a bit of bait on their head, and then yeah, try and nick a canal fish just before we go home. We had a good look around the canal and failed to see anything. We checked many spots that Nick Hellier has fished previously for Witchwood videos. We thought we would see some fish, but however, we failed. We didn't find any at all. But we will be back, and we'll be back when it's much warmer, getting back on Twinehurst and stalking them fish from that gin clear match pool. That's it though. Thanks for watching. Even though we didn't catch any fish, I hope you enjoyed our little vlog from the weekend because I absolutely loved making it. Hopefully next time we can get amongst some of these dark, scaly, down south carp. But yeah, big thanks to Adam and big thanks to Mark. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next one. Just before you go, check this funny clip from the weekend. I just want to say, Adam, next time X Factor comes to Manchester, you should definitely apply. Yes, I can see you. Yeah. Touch me. Touch your fingertips in my face.